Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire career and life in the Eastern Conference, I was going to say it didn't start out so well, but actually kind of did, we won our first game 2-1. And then we got kind of waxed by Minnesota 4-3. At one point, going down 4 nothing before scoring three late goals to come back and at least make it respectable. But wasn't the best performance in that one. So that kind of leaves us not really knowing where we are still. I mean, I still don't know what our best formation is going to be or what kind of style we're going to be playing. And I said at the end of last episode that we're going to go with a 4-1-4-1 here to start off today. But... I thought about it and you know what this formation while it's more balanced it's also kind of safe it's kind of boring it's a very jose Mourinho defensive lacking the attack style of formation i don't want to do that i want to go something more unique something more exciting something i've never done before so i came up with this the 424 custom formation i've moved some players slightly around a little bit to to open some things up we're gonna go with this today against portland to start out with let's see how this one goes now, the one thing I did want to change that I kind of forgot to was I, I wanted to take Ousted out of net for one game. I mean, he was kind of thoroughly unimpressive against Minnesota, and I wanted to go in a different direction, but I forgot to do that, so we once again have Ousted in goal. Oh, Edwards, you better make it. He doesn't, and that's going to be a free shot for Blanco, who misses everything. Thank God, because I don't really trust David Ousted right now. I mean, damn. There we go. Just quicker passing. There we go, boys. Guy 10 coming forward. Shifts it onto his left. It's blocked in front. That looked like he was going for goal there. What a block. Throw in here. Chest it back for Frankowski. His speed is really an asset. He's really actually pretty good. And we actually have a play here. And the pass was over hit. You've got to be kidding me. He was wide open. How do you miss the pass? Oh my goodness. Or what? Holy sh Was that Chara that shot that? Are you serious? Oh, I got distracted. Oh, at least Ousted is playing well on this one. We really need him. Good lord, the shot came out of nowhere. Nikolic up with it for Frankowski. Frankowski back for Nikolic. This is good. What a ball in behind for Katai. Katai coming forward, shoots, and scores! instantly after i switched the formation out of the 424 which has not worked in this game at all whatsoever we've had no offense up to this point as soon as i switched the formation we score and i had to go back to the four the the 4141 because we needed to do something we've been absolutely abysmal yes guy 10 nicely done play it forward there's a shot low driven i think that was bronico it was bronico with five minutes on the pitch has actually made quite an impact Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Ousted. Ousted! He's going to give me a seizure. He's going to give me an aneurysm. He's going to give me a medical condition that I don't know the full definition of, but it's going to kill me. Oh, no. Not just a simple through ball. Schweini does enough to put the pass off. Oh, my God. That was close. We don't really have anyone to deal with that. Bobise over here. He gets the crossing. Kapelhoff deals with it. We lose the ball. Old kick. We, oh. I don't know how Portland haven't scored. They, I think they absolutely have deserved a goal in this game. And that one went through Schweine's legs. And that is going to do it. one nothing. I don't even know how we won that game, to be honest. I mean, our only really good chance of the entire game came on kind of a mistake at the back. I don't even know how the ball, the through ball that Katai scored off of, I don't even know how it got to him. I think it kind of went through a player's legs or, or he just missed it. And Katai scored. And that was the only goal of the game. That was the only chance we created. Portland had a number of chances and just couldn't score. And in that last match, Nicholas Hassler had to come off for an injury. And it turns out he broke his toe. He's going to be out for two months. So uh, Kappelhoff will return to playing right back. So we move on now to take on the Columbus crew. And uh, I'm, I'm pulling the plug on that 424 formation. That just didn't work. If you guys have any ideas for other formations that I should try out, leave them in the comments below because the two experiments I've gone with so far haven't been the best. So we're gonna we're just gonna go to the 4141 here from the start and see if this one works any better. Yes. Great ball to Frankowski, and he's up the wing. 
The speed of Frankowski. He's going to look across for Katai. I think he took a small deflection. It falls. Zach Steffen makes a save. Was, who, who shot that? That was Mihailovic. He is everywhere. This dude is, just seems to be a ball magnet, and I absolutely love it. Boy, Kapelhoff with the high press. Gets the turnover. Katai is back post, but Kapelhoff is not a right back, and he can't cross the ball. That's why I don't want to play him over there. That's why I wanted Hassler. I disconnected my controller. There you go, Kapelhoff. Good press. Oh, my God. Marcelo just gave the ball away. I really don't like Marcelo. I really, really don't. I, I think I would prefer Kapelhoff in that position. But I don't have a right back now. I have to play Kapelhoff out there. We just Our defense is a mess. I knew it was going to be a mess from the beginning. And it's giving me fits. I absolutely cannot stand it. That, what the hell was Marcelo doing back there? Oh, good tackle by Katai. There we go. Come on, boys. Katai. Coming forward. Get that ball through for Gaitan. Gaitan. Now. Yes. For Nikolic. you got to score that one, Nikolic. There we go. We've got the equalizer right after halftime. Oh, this team. It's just... Nothing is easy. Oh, Columbus again. They're just running up the wings and crossing it. It's literally the only thing that they have. That's their only offensive mindset is to do that. That is a great play. To Frankowski, who has the wheels. Come on, Frankowski. Well, he sort of has the wheels. He's going to lay it back for Gaitan. Gaitan scores. Finally, he's off the mark for us. What, it's the fourth game of the season? He really hasn't done a whole lot. He has a couple of assists. I've been waiting for him to get a goal for himself, and he finally does. And we have the lead, just like that. It's been all Columbus, pretty much, in this game. But we just stole the lead. Uh-oh. Oh, that could be a problem. Nope, Edwards is there. Edwards has actually played phenomenal defense. Not what I was expecting from him at all, but he's done very well here. Mihailovic finding this pass to Gaitan, just about. Now for Frankowski. Frankowski shoots, and Frankowski scores! 3-1, Chicago. Where did this come from? Gaitan. Boy, dancing on it. Oh, the defender got wrong-footed. And Dax McCarty can't shoot. I forgot who that was. That was not a good shot. Oh, the ball is in behind again. Edwards is doing well. Edwards again with the defense. He's still working to try to get it away. Eventually, he ends up giving it giving it away. That's not what you wanted to do. But, oh my God, the shot. Will Trapp and Dax McCarty. Two players that should never shoot. Oh, Christian Martinez is making a run. Beautifully weighted pass over the top. Martinez coming in. Putting a ball across. Is Frankowski. How did he miss? Even he knows. He's like, well, damn. I kind of screwed that one up. Yeah, Frankowski, you really did. And that is the final whistle right there. 3-1. We are really, really good at coming back. I'll give us that. Man. Okay. Well, that's another win. I don't know where that win came from, honestly. It was all Columbus early. It was all Columbus late. But in the middle there, we just kind of handled our business. So one thing that I'm going to do for this series is change the way that I use my training. And I'm only going to be giving the training slots to those players that are actually playing in games. So I'm not going to be giving any training to like some young player that's just sitting on the bench to boost his overall up to the point where he can play. If I want to train him, I actually have to play him as well. I think that's a good way to reward the players that are actually playing in the games. Now, that last game against Columbus, I said, I don't know where this sudden burst of offense came from. I forgot that I had changed formations again at halftime, and I switched to this 4-1-4, or the 4-4-1-1, which is really my formation. It's what I'm used to. It's what I play with the best, and it's the formation I use the entirety of the LAFC series. It actually might be so good that I might have to ban this formation if we're going to make this competitive at all, but I'm going to stick with it for the foreseeable future and we'll see how things go we're into the u.s open cup now and we're taking on san jose oh vaca what a freaking stop on that one doesn't help that i can't see the ball could you please get rid of the freaking the, the the lineups i can't see shit on this wing oh no san jose is cheesing me right now san jose fully just cheese that goal because of the stupid graphic at the bottom can i just turn that off what an absolute disgrace! Come on, boys. We've done well in the past couple of minutes. That's a nice little move by Martinez. Good first time pass to Mihailovic. Mihailovic looking for a ball into Frankowski! Headers right at Vega, though. 
We get nothing from it. That was one of the better plays offensively we've had so far in this first half. Oh, there goes the ball up the wing. How do they always seem to find that exact pass? I do not know. But it's been killing us already all the time during the early parts of the season. We might have something here, though. It's Christian Martinez. He's got the touch. Martinez shoots. Martinez scores. Great finish by Christian Martinez. Actually, he actually plays very well. He might actually play better than Katai up that wing. He has two goals already this season. Katai, I think, has one. He just seems to always make the runs. And he has the, the pace. He doesn't have a lot of it, but he has the pace to make those runs. Whereas Katai has none whatsoever. Adams, far side here for Martinez. Nice little move by Martinez. There's a lot of defenders, but Martinez, nice move! And he finds the... How did Martinez... He, like, he stopped, and then all of the defenders got confused. They're like, oh no, what's he gonna do with it? And nobody just closed him down, allowed him to get the cross off to Sapong, and he's gonna head home every time from right there. And we have the lead. Sapong has been absolutely trash in this game so far. I'm actually a little upset that he has scored the goal, but we'll take it. We have the lead against San Jose. Boy, Sapong. Now, all of a sudden, Sapong, energized with his goal, gets the turnover. It's to Frankowski. How did he miss? For as good as Frankowski plays, he misses a lot of one on one chances. Let's close him down. Somebody close him down. Are you serious? We're just going to let him dribble through there? Oh my god, what just happened? We had three or four guys around the man with the ball. Nobody put in a tackle. Everyone just stood there and watched him and allowed him to dribble out of there and find an open pass to... Was that Luis Felipe, who just seems to score straight bangers against me every time I play him? Oh, that's so unfortunate. It was not Luis Felipe. It was number 11. I don't know who that is, but that was just poor defending. It's Reynolds. He's got a little bit of speed to him. Looking for a run. He's got a run. Not a great pass, but he has it to Nikolic. Nikolic, far side, not good enough of a cross. He's, to be fair, he's not a crosser, so I can't really blame him. And that's the end of the full 90. I think we're going to extra time. Yes, indeed. 30 more minutes. Can we find this winner? Oh, no. Come on. That ball hit Reynolds and bounces right back to him again. Oh, my God. That's Wondolowski's offside. <laughs> Wondo just... Okay, everybody was offside, to be fair. See someone wide open over here. It is Christian Martinez who cuts it inside. Still on it. Christian Martinez! Christian Martinez! Are you serious with that? That shot was disgusting! He has two goals in this one. And we've retaken the lead in extra time. Oh my goodness, Christian Martinez. Have a game, son. What a move. Cuts it inside, dribbles it all the way around a couple defenders, and unleashes a curler. To be fair, it wasn't that great of a shot. It was just perfectly placed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ousted. For the love of... Could you have waited any longer to come for that ball, Ousted? Give me a freaking heart attack, man. Gets that ball back to Martinez. For the hat trick, Martinez. Oh, that took a deflection, and Vega had to make a good save. Oh, are you see? Oh, do the CPU have any other tactics other than run down, cross it? Because that's literally how I give up almost every goal. Either it's a mistake by me at the back, or it's run down, cross the ball, headed in. Seriously, get some creativity. And that is going to do it. Man, these games, I think every single... Okay, we beat Columbus 3-1, but other than that, every game so far this season has been decided by one goal. It has been a rough, rough go of it, but we're coming out on top of most of these games, so I'll take it. So despite our kind of lack of identity so far early in the season, we're actually off to a pretty decent start. 3-0-1 in the league, it moves us up to 5th place, plus we picked up that win in the US Open Cup, so we're into the next round in that competition as well. The bad news is our schedule coming up is basically a hellish gauntlet. I would put it. We play Montreal, Philadelphia, Columbus again, New York Red Bulls, and Atlanta twice, including the next round of the US Open Cup. So that's five of the top seven teams in the Eastern Conference alone. And I realized I forgot to show you guys the Western Conference 
last episode. So here's what the West is looking like. RSL, who seems to always be good in career mode. They're up in first place on 13 points. They're actually first overall in the league right now. Sporting is in second. That's actually looking like a good win for us to start the season now. LA Galaxy in third, tied with Vancouver. Then we have Minnesota and Portland in there as well. And oh, by the way, we're going to be playing the LA Galaxy to start next episode. So another difficult opponent for us. It's not, it's not going to be easy, man. We're, we're really, we're really going to find out a lot about ourselves in the next month. But that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you when we come back for some more Chicago Fire career. See ya.